Hi there, this is Jeff from Jeff's Flight Log, and today we're going to re-experience a flight I took through Corduroy Canyon on my way into the Gila back in 2019. Corduroy Canyon drains a grassy basin near the Continental Divide that lies north of the Gila National Forest. The entrance to the canyon magically appears out of the hills, revealing a flat bottom, clear path ahead. After coming around the first corner, we notice a large rock face ahead. This cliff marks a tree-filled bottleneck. Once past the first bottleneck, the canyon becomes a wide, gentle meander. The first time I flew down the stretch of canyon, I saw a dead tree with a huge gaggle of crows and buzzards circling around it. Birds can't climb nearly as fast as they can dive, so I climbed above the swarm, and looking down, I saw a huge eagle on the top branch eyeing me as I flew by. Consequently, I always make sure I pass this tree with plenty of altitude. After a few minutes, I could see the hairpin turns of the second bottleneck ahead, so I just popped over this hill on the left side and avoided them altogether. In addition to the bottlenecks, afternoon rotoring winds and thermals can make flying this canyon treacherous. As prep, I marked the bottlenecks on my GPS moving map display, and I made several high altitude passes to preview the terrain before dropping lower. The canyon floor is 7,200 feet, and during the day, density altitude can easily exceed 12,000 feet. I made this flight in calm, cool morning conditions. Note the veins on the windmill. Back in pioneer days, portions of this long canyon were persistently muddy, so logs were laid across the wet spots, giving the canyon bottom a corduroy-like appearance. This is how the canyon got its name. I really like this relaxing two-mile stretch of the canyon.
The walls of the canyon are narrowing ahead, warning me that my canyon run is coming to an end. At the end of the straight section is an impossible hairpin turn, and after that the canyon becomes clogged with trees. This is where I climb out and continue on to Beaverhead Station and its backcountry airstrip. I hope you enjoyed this flight. Check in on this channel in the future for more beautiful trike flights in New Mexico and the greater Southwest.